Hey guys, it's Dustin. It's been a little while. Uh, got a little bit of time here on Sunday to myself and try to put together a couple videos, get those published this week. Um, first one up, we're going to do a little tank tour. Uh, this is a 65, of course. It's actually been quite a bit of changes since the last time I did a video on the 65. Um, you can see my two clowns getting along real well. Um, I just had my hand in the tank, so everything's a little bit more closed up than normally is, but it looks like it's bouncing back pretty quick. Um, there were two clowns in here doing real well. Um, I've seen them, I posted a video before. They have this little cave down here they like to get into, and they're cleaning it out a lot. I haven't actually witnessed the eggs yet, but they may have laid them, and I hadn't, I may not have even noticed. Uh, my prized torch, this thing's amazing, I love it. Uh, real big, doing great. Give you a little look, see if I can get in pretty tight on these. These are some zoanthids that Tim gave me actually from that the video series I did on Tim's tank. Uh, these are actually out of his tank. Um, another pair of them back there. I think those are, he said those are two different types of uh, zoanthids, but I'm not going to actually be able to see that until they start growing out a little bit. Uh, here's another pickup that I made since the last update. It's green candy cane. It's a little bit hard to see. Unfortunately, my camera does not do well with the colors of the light, the LEDs. Um, but anyway, it's a great looking piece. It has some really awesome color to it at night. It's a really nice uh, bright green, almost yellowish. Um, back here at the back, the Darth Mauls are on top here. Again, the camera kind of washes out the color, but uh, two Darth Maul zoanthids there. Got the digi's going crazy on the rocks there. It's not growing up, up a whole lot, but it is obviously encrusting quite a bit on those rocks. That little piece that was on the left-hand side did break off. I ended up gluing it to a fra uh, frag plug, and uh, that's in Tim's tank now. As you can see, the pulsing zinnia has gone apeshit and is all over the place in the tank. Or not all over the place, all over this area of the tank. It's kind of taken over a bit. I need to get in there probably clean some of that out. Uh, I tried cutting some off the other day so I could frag it. Uh, and it's not real easy to cut off so you can frag it. I'm going to have to pull some of these rocks out and, and really go after it. As you guys can see here, I've got my my Recordia up here, it's a Rainbow Recordia. My GSP doing real well. Uh, these are the zoanthids that I got from Ideal Aquatics back in March or whatever, maybe in April. Um, they're doing real well, they were actually doing a whole heck of a lot better. This area here has some hair, Some it's not even hair algae, I don't know what kind of algae it is. It had a little algae outbreak. Um, it got up in the back of these, took a lot of them out. Uh, plus I cut the Cut some of them out and gave them to Tim as well. Um, these are the eBay zoanthids. They're spreading, they do well. Uh, still not the coolest zoanthid in the world, uh, but it looks alright, I guess. This little guy over here just kind of has slothed, slothed off of my mushroom rocks um, and attached itself. I'm not real happy about that. I'm hoping he kind of moves back down onto the sand bed, but probably not. Blasto's doing real well. There's a total of probably eight or nine heads on this thing now. The three heads that you guys are able to see pretty much take up most of the viewing space. There's my Duncan that probably isn't ever going to bounce back to what it was. There was previously five heads on this thing. It was in the 29 gallon tank. Um, the 29 was not doing well and a lot of the coral that was in there suffered because of it and this is one of the pieces all right here's uh these mushrooms so there's two rocks of them there got one in the sand bed there i'm letting them get into the sand bed because i found it easier to pull them off the sand bed and glue the sand they're attached to to a rock and they stay real well there's another couple of rocks of mushrooms over here i'm going to be taking this stuff off and gluing it down as well uh, basically what happened here is these are the ones that came out of that uh, tub that I had in the bottom of the tank there for a little while. Um, outside of that, everything else is going real well. 
We do a little full tank shot here. Um, six line Rass is in there doing well. Look at that. We've got a little aggression between the clowns there. Not sure what that's about, but uh, I've never seen it before. My monster clown would obviously eat that little one in a heartbeat, so I'm not real sure what the hell they're doing. I hope it's, I hope it's just something temporary. But anyway, um, outside of that, guys, the tank's going real well. I actually have a new project coming up. Actually, you know what? I didn't talk about this hammer. This hammer's pretty awesome. So it's a, a green hammer. I've had it for a while. Um, but it has five heads in there now. At night when it closes up, I do I did take a look at it and it has five separate heads. I'm waiting for them to grow out a little bit more um, so you can actually see the individual heads. But it's, you know, when I first got it, it was maybe the size of a quarter, maybe at its widest. And now it's probably three inches wide. So. Uh, it's a real nice piece. But anyway, outside of this, guys, um, I did place an order for my RODI unit. Uh, one of the valves on it failed, so I had to get that replaced. I went ahead and get got all new uh, media as well for it. We're doing a video here shortly on that as well. Um, let you know a little bit about the company that I ordered it from. Another thing, I still have that 20 long outside that I'm going to be starting a project with once I get some more time on my hands. And I have another big tank project. Uh, so the 65 will be around for a while. Probably be summertime before I take it down. But it will be, uh, it will be coming down to make room for my other new big project. Uh, the 20 gallon long is not that big project. But it, it, it will be a nice project once I do get it going. Um, but anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you guys have any comments on the, on the tank, please feel free to leave them below. If you're not already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Throw the video a like. And thanks guys for watching.